Please help me to like and subscribe to grow our channel. Indonesian teenager rescued after drifting seven weeks at sea. Jakarta Indonesia, an Indonesian teenager who survived 49 days adrift at sea after the wooden fish trap he was employed to mine slipped its moorings says he ran out of food within a week and survived on fish and seawater he strained through his clothing. Aldi Novel Adelang told the Associated Press on Monday that he turned on a lamp every time he sighted another ship and can't remember how many passed by, unaware of my ordeal. The Indonesian consulate in Osaka, Japan, says the 18-year-old was rescued by a Panamanian flagged vessel off Guam on August 31st, about 1,200 miles from his original location, and returned to Indonesia with officials earlier this month. He was employed since age 16 in the one of the world's loneliest jobs. Lamplighter on a rompong a wooden fishing raft with a hut on top moored about 125 kilometers 78 miles off the coast of North Sulawesi. The coastline is not visible from the fishing rafts and the numerous rompong are miles apart from one another, said Adeling's mother, Metka Hiking. Supplies are dropped off to the lightkeepers about once a week. I was on the raft for one month and 18 days. My food ran out after the first week, said Adelang. When it didn't rain for days, I had to soak my clothes in the sea, then I squeezed and drank the water. The teen's father, Alfie and Adelang, said the family is overjoyed at his return but angry with his employer. The rafts are anchored with ropes and Adelang said strong friction caused them to break. I thought I will never meet my parents again, so I just prayed every day, he said. The MVR Pagio, which rescued Adelang off Guam, contacted the Indonesian mission in Osaka when it docked and officials collected him on September 6, the Osaka consulate said in a statement. He returned to Indonesia on September 8. 